That is some horrifying BBC footage of a giant leech consuming an earthworm in Borneo. We know, you're terrified and you need a little comfort. Well, have some science, please. <laughs> It's difficult to watch, we know. To be eaten alive, or worse yet, swallowed whole, is one of the worst fates imaginable. Nobody wants to watch a giant, flesh-eating leech suck down another living thing like a string of spaghetti. We didn't appreciate watching the vile meat weasels of Skull Island slurp down Andy Serkis in 2005's King Kong, and we're not crazy about the same fate befalling an earthworm, a creature that Charles Darwin considered a cognitive being. And according to a 2010 study from Belgium's University of Leedsum, the earth Earthworm Ice and Ehu Fetidu, or Red Wiggler, actually forms herds and makes social group decisions through touch communication. That, Robert Lamb, doesn't make me feel any better. Well, some vindication is coming, but first, let's get to know this monstrous leech. This grotesque gobbler is so new to science that it doesn't even have a taxonomic name yet. The tribes of Mount Kinabalu simply know it as the giant red leech. It's one of the biggest leech species in the world. The one in the video came in at 50 centimeters, or 19.7 inches in length, and the worm is a shocking 70 centimeters or 28 inches long. The species has grown so large that it can't depend on mere blood like its leech can. No, it has to have flesh. Roughly 700 species of leeches are currently recognized, and this includes quite a variety of ravenous annelids. It's thought that there could be as many as 10,000 species throughout the world in marine, terrestrial, and freshwater environments. Some feed on decaying plant material, others feed exclusively on amphibian or insect larvae, and as we've seen, larger species go for larger prey. The so-called dog leech, Urpopdella octocolata, boasts a specialized esophagus to suck water snails right out of their shells. But you probably know them best as bloodsuckers, and even here there's quite a bit of variety in specialized diets. Some feed exclusively on snails or turtles, and the Placobdeloids, Jagger Skewality leech feeds exclusively on the rectal tissue of a hippopotamus. They actually reproduce inside the hippo's rectum, and this leads some scientists to speculate that a hippo's poop-flinging, tail-wagging ways are as much a means of flinging parasites away from their body as anything else. How do leeches find these delectable meals? Leeches detect skin oils, blood, heat, and carbon dioxide to zero in on a host. They swim free in the water with an undulating motion that propels them forward. Then they latch on with their triple set of jaws, employ an anesthetic and anticoagulant called harudin, and balloon up on some pilfered blood. But what about that vindication we spoke of. Well, here's the thing. Earthworms are a highly successful species. In fact, when biologist and author Christopher Lloyd ranked the top 100 successful species on the planet, he ranked earthworms at number one, ahead of bees, beetles, the HIV virus, mosquitoes, and even Homo sapiens. We came in at number six. As Lloyd pointed out, earthworms have thrived for 600 million years, spread across the globe, and survived not one, two, or three, but five extinction events in the process. They're the kings of the earth, and everyone's out to get the king, from giant leaves to the positively wormicidal star-nosed mole. But in the end, it's not a leech-eat-worm world. It is simply a worm's world. So who do you side with in this leech-earthworm war? And what bit of disgusting footage would you like us to profile next? Let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos a coming, make sure to subscribe.